Good afternoon again from the Hearts at War project. Uh, again, just looking through some of the items that we've uh, very kindly been loaned um, for display here at the exhibition. Um, and this one's a particular int particularly interesting to me, um, reasonably rare actually, difficult to find. This is in fact a First World War uh, German sniper's plate or body shield or early body armour I suppose, which um, was worn, generally speaking, by German sentries in static positions, people like machine gunners, um, to a certain extent snipers, and uh, anybody really that needed to spend a, a significant period of time outside of the uh, outside of the confines of the or safety of a trench. So, as you can tell, this is actually the top part, of the chest plate. Um, this is, we believe, the Mark II. Um, and the reason we believe that is because of the hooks that you can see just on the inside here which would actually suspend a series of other plates which would go down over the abdomen and the groin area to uh, stop uh, rounds in that region which of course would be uh, very welcome I'm sure. Um, substantial weight, heavy steel uh, chest plate. As you can tell it wasn't entirely impenetrable as uh, we can see here they're actually uh, this one's battle damaged and has puncture marks through it you can see here that around uh, three rounds, in fact, have penetrated the armour at the top here and a uh, fourth down there. Whether this was uh, done at the time or post-war, we're not quite sure, but uh, a fantastic uh, item. And it does show, although it afforded some safety, particularly when worn with the Stahlhelm, which we've got uh, over there, with a uh, heavy visor on the front, um, afforded a decent amount of safety for, for people like machine gun crews that were generally speaking uh, the objects of a uh, um, sniper's attention and uh, there are stories of uh, particularly with things like sniper shields of uh, things like elephant guns and very heavy cal uh, very heavy caliber rifles being employed actually to um, combat people wearing this kind of equipment so really interesting item um, obviously has a uh, a good history and uh, fairly rare actually to see these about these days so there we are Hope you enjoyed this one and uh, we'll go through a few more.